Good people, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. I'm here in Galway, Ireland, and it's sunny out. It's been raining this entire trip and it's finally sunny, sunny the day I get here. And I'm going to do a lesson on Galway Girl by Steve Earle. I'm going to show you the melody break that happens. It's played on accordion and maybe fiddle in Steve Earle's version. Um, I just learned it. I was laying on the other side of the river listening to it over and over again. So I hope I get it right and consistent in this video. And um, I'm just going to play the whole thing and then break it down part by part, note by note for you. Here it goes. So, um, there's kind of an A part and a B part. The A part happens in the first little break, and then the second break, we kind of do the A part twice, and then the B part, which is, um, and we'll get to all that. And then in Steve Earle's version, it closes with the A part going over and over again. So I'm going to start with the A part. The first quarter is this. By the way, in D major, so you could play your D major scale to warm up. Now let's break it down even further with some finger charts. So this first quarter is all on the D string. Yay! Easy. It's a great tune for beginners. So it starts just on D, the pickup notes are open one, and then we can land on two. Open one, two, one, open. Then we do one, two, two, one, two, one, open. Got it? Before that we had and then we do. Let's put the first chord together again slowly. Got it? Okay, if you're unsure, pause the video and practice it right now. But I think you'll get it if you do that. All right, let's move on to the second chord. Alright, now I'm going to break it down slowly with finger charts. Alright, so it starts with a 1, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, open. Now actually, here's the hard thing about the tune. I'm trying to do it as faithfully to the version as possible and this little rhythm I think is hard. It's hard for me to tap because I'm standing on grass splattered with seagull shit right now. So um, I gotta watch my step and I can't really make a stomping sound like I don't have the tambourine. I'm useless right now. No, but um, so this rhythm would be good to loop on for you to get. It's like, duh. I'll try to, st I'll try to say like the beat like duh, 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 duh. Let me slow it down. Just try to play along. I think it'll be the easiest thing for all of us. Just try to play along with this kind of syncopated rhythm that happens on A1. So it's like an A1. There it is. Dun, 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 dun. 
So I hope that's enough for you to get this rhythm. It's, it's something I may take for granted, but it's actually kind of hard, some of the rhythms. And so, and often in the tunes, I simplified and take out those rhythms, but I sort of felt like this was the key to this song, so I kept it in. Um, and then the third quarter, let's do that. Nice, right? So um, let's break that down with finger charts. All right, so it starts on A with one, one, open. And then we switch to the D string with two, three, two, one, two, two, three, two, one, two. So the whole thir third quarter real slow. Once again. Now let's do the fourth quarter. So we have that funny rhythm again. Uh, first let me break down, let me break it down with finger charts. Here we go. And the, the notes are D one, one, two, three, two, one, open. feels like such a classic melody like it's been around for hundreds of years maybe it has and so um, this part begins with that same syncopated rhythm like dun, 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 dun. just play along dun. loop with me all right um, now I will play the whole fourth quarter again with that. Maybe I'll loop it a little bit. So cool, now you have all four quarters. You know what I'm going to say next if you've been watching these videos. Pause the video, rewind, and review everything. Make sure you know it. And now we'll put the whole thing together. Feel free to play along or just listen because listening is practice too. You can listen to anything while you're walking down the street. You don't even have to have an instrument. Listen to the birds. Listen to the motorcycle. That's music too. Okay, here we go. Whole, um, whole A part. What I'm calling the A part. Real slow. Simple melody, but you can make it sound really nice. All right, I encourage you to, even if you think you're advanced, take the time to make a simple thing like this sound really good. When I teach in-person lessons, it's something I care a lot about, and, and I think it's important because then you will feel better about the music you're doing. It'll sound good and feel good. So really take the time, maybe use throwaway bow to strengthen your tone, like, say, take the first few notes, like, next note, the next note, and put them together ending with throwaway bow. And just get a nice big beefy sound, sorry vegetarians, and uh, just bring out your sound. Alright, so enough babble, let's move on to the B part, alright, so the B part happens in the middle of the tune, we'll do the A twice and then the B part once, and I think in the Steve Earle version, that's the only time you hear the B part. So I'll do it. Um, the, the first chord of the B part is this. That's the first half, sorry. Here's the first quarter. All right, and uh, I'm gonna break it down with finger charts. All on the A string. Open one, one, open one, two, three, one. So. And here, 
if I'm, my memory serves me right, it doesn't do the little syncopation thing, although if you did it, it would sound fine. But I think it's just straight here. Like. So I may be wrong, but if I am, you can, if you already studied that rhythm, you could do it either way, all right? So you could do it with the syncopated leg. But I think it's straight. Here's the second quarter. Now I'll break it down with finger charts. So it starts on A. Open, one, open. And then we go to D string. Three, two, one. Okay, the third quarter of the A part is the same as the third quarter of the, sorry, the third quarter of the B part is the same as the third quarter of the A. So if you did indeed really learn that well, then you know this already. Let's review it. It goes. Again. And the fourth quarter of the B is the same as the fourth of the A. Now I will do the entire B part so you can see how it all fits together, slowly. One more time without the syncopation. Tune. Now, somebody requested this tune, one of the Fiddlehead subscribers. Sorry, whoever you are, I'm forgetting your name right now. I gotta get better at that because I should mention you. And uh, anyway, thanks for the suggestion. We read all the suggestions, but I got a lot on my plate I'm trying to put together for you, working on fiddlehead.com as well. So, doing the best we can to do everything in the universe for you to help you play fiddle. Thanks for watching. Come to Galway. Maybe I'll, I'll bring you next time somehow. Maybe bring a bunch of fiddleheads along. Okay, take care. So long. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video clocking. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.